Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining the number of years before a value increases to a given value given some known compound percentage increase. We've got this problem here. I put £2,000 into a bank account with 2% interest per annum. PA means per annum per year. After how many years will I have £2,297.37? Well, the formula we use for any kind of compound change is this, that the new value after the compound change is equal to the original value multiplied by the decimal multiplier to the power of n. So the decimal multiplier, remember, is just a value we times by to represent each year's increase, in this case a 2% rise, because 2% interest means you get 2% interest on the current value of your bank account. And n here is just the number of years that you're applying which we don't know, because we want to find out after how many years we get that new value. So let's fill in our values. Our new value is 2297.37. The original value was 2000. We're multiplying by d to the power of n. Now the decimal multiplier is a decimal representing a 2% increase. And in previous videos, we saw that a 2% increase we could represent with a decimal multiplier of 1.02 and then we're applying a power of n. We don't know how many years it is, so we're gonna to have to keep that as n for the moment. And then we could just solve this equation. Well, let's think, this whole thing here is being multiplied by 2000 to get 2297. So let's just divide both sides by 2000. And that means the left-hand side is gonna become 1.148685. And the right hand side, we've just got the 1.02 to the power of n. Now we could just use trial and error to do this. We can keep on trying different powers of n until we get this value here. So if we tried, for example, 1.02 to the power of 5, that gives us 1.104. That's too small, but we're getting close. 1.02 to, to, to the power of 6. That's 1.126. And then finally, 1.02 to the power 7. Let's hope it gets there this time. We get 1.1486, etc. And we can see that is the value that we want here. It does match. So the answer is 7. N is 7 years where we'd get the amount that we want. Now, you might wonder at this point, is there some way that we could algebraically solve this equation? We can, work out, we can work out exactly the n we need, such that 1.02 to the n gives you this 1.148685. And the answer is, yes, you can, but you have to use knowledge from the A-level syllabus, uh, which 16 and 17-year-olds do. But let me quickly explain. We can basically use something called the log function, logarithms. Um, and what we do is n is going to be log base... 1.02, and I'll explain what base means, of the 1.148, etc. Yeah? And basically, this little number here is known as the base of the logarithm, and it's got to match the base of this exponential, so the number, the bigger number in this power here. And now, if we use this button here, we have the log of the two squares next to it, and we put log base 1.02, so a little 1.02, of this number here. So press the right key, 1.148685, press equals, and that gives me a value of 6.99997. And we can see we're right on the money with 7 here, because this value is, is pretty much 7. Now you wouldn't be expected to do this at GCSE, for example, because it's not in the syllabus. So this try and error approach is probably the way they're expecting you to do, but they would allow you to use this method of logarithms here.